Good morning, students. I hope you are well now. Very important two things first I want to say. One, don't go outside and stay at home and continue your study. Today, I am going to start our first theory chapter. That is chapter 2, Climate of India. Climate of India. Climate of India, we can fill every year, we can see that one, that variation we can see every year. But if we want to explain it in one sentence, India has tropical monsoon climate. Now, the question is why it is called so? Why India has tropical monsoon type of climate? Reasons? There are two reasons. One is location. India is located within the tropical belt. And the second one, monsoon. Monsoon is a wind which brings heavy rain. And our Indian economy completely depends on this wind. That's why India has tropical monsoon type of climate. And we say that yes, it has tropical monsoon type of climate. Now, the climate of India is affected by some factors. And these are the factors. There are total seven factors. One by one, I am going to explain these factors. Factor number one, location. I said that India situated or located in tropical belt means if this is the southern part of our country equator is passing just the bottom of our country and tropic of cancer is passing almost in the center part of our country so we can say that our climate is tropical type of climate because it is located within 0 degree and 23 and half degree north which is called tropic of cancer. That is the location. Here temperature is high. Rainfall is also high. But comparatively equatorial area it is low. Second one is influence of Himalayas. We know the great Himalaya, the world's highest mountain, it is located in our northern part and extended up to eastern part. This mountain protects us from the cold Siberian wind which is coming from Central Asia and also it forces monsoon wind to shed all their moisture within the climate, so within the country. So, that's why we can say Himalayas also affect our climate. Second one is altitude. We know the temperature always decreasing with increasing height. So, in India, there are so many mountains or high altitudinal areas are located where temperature is comparatively low than the plain regions. Next, distance from the sea. Number four, distance from the sea. Yes, we know that from sea or from water body, there are two types of breezes are blowing. One is called land bridge and another is called sea bridge. One is called land bridge. In a short way, I am writing another is called sea bridge. And India's southern part is bounded by sea. So, the places which are located within this area, here temperature is always low because of the effect of sea. Though this area is very close to equator. Second, and that's no, not second, number five, effects of the monsoon. I told you already that monsoon brings heavy rain. And it brings rain in our country up to four months. And due to this heavy rain, 
temperature is comparatively low in our country. The parts of India which receive monsoon, they are four months temperature is comparatively low than the other parts of India. Next, relief. Relief already I said about a particular relief that is Himalayas. But here I want to say relief not only affect the temperature, it also affect rainfall. Suppose one example I am giving you, Western Ghat which is located this part of our country. This part, Western Ghat, Western side received huge, rain, huge rainfall. But this part completely dry. Why? Because of the presence of this mountain. That's why we can say the relief is one of the factor which part of the mountain gets heavy rain. Their temperature comparatively low. But the opposite one, dry, temperature comparatively high. And the last one is J-stream. J-stream is a strong wind. It blows in a particular direction. In a very short way, I can say that this wind is help to bring northeast monsoon. Because monsoon has two branches. When I will discuss about the wind, I will clear about this point that monsoon has two branches. One is southwest, another is northeast. And northeast monsoon blows due to jet stream. Now, our third topic that is seasons of India. India has four different seasons. I have mentioned here four. And these four are cold weather season, hot weather season, rainy season and retreating season. So today I will start first from here, cold weather season. This season, the duration of this season is from month of December to February. Now, what are the climatic conditions during this period? First temperature. Average temperature varies from 2.5 degree centigrade to 17 degree 5 degree centigrade. This is the average temperature means throughout the country or maximum parts of the country we can see this variation. But in Himalayas area, their temperature goes below 0 degree. Some parts like coastal area of India, that is neither too hot nor too cold, I said because distance from the sea, their temperature is maximum 21 degree centigrade during this period. But this one we can see maximum parts of the country. And the rainfall. We know that during winter season we don't get enough rain. There is a no rain. Except few parts of India that is Punjab and Haryana which is called western part of India. There due to western disturbance some rainfall takes place. This one actually is a cyclonic storm. It develops over Mediterranean Ocean. Mediterranean Sea, sorry. And it comes towards our country in the western part. And it is very helpful for wheat cultivation in Punjab. And high pressure develops throughout the country because of low temperature during this season. Now the second one. Hot weather season which is called summer season. It varies from March to May. During this period, temperature, average temperature 45 degrees centigrade. And Rajasthan, which is the desert area, where temperature reaches up to 50 degrees centigrade. But the maximum parts of India, we can see this figure. And high pressure system and low pressure system, yes. During this time, low pressure develop over the land. Because, because of this high temperature, because you know that temperature and air pressure, they have inverse relation. That's why. And the rainfall. During this hot weather season, some parts of India gets rain due to this local wind. I have mentioned three names. Kalboishakhi, second one is Lu, and the third one is Mango Showers. Kalboishakhi is a kind of natural calamity which takes place Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, this area. And it is very useful for jute cultivation, right cultivation in our West Bengal and very important for tea cultivation in Assam. Second one is loo, very common for us 
it is a kind of local wind but when this wind blows through uh, some parts of india and that is northern part of india their temperature suddenly suddenly rises but this wind does not bring any rain and this wind mango shower this one is very common wind which located in kerala south india and this wind brings the rain during this period and this mango shower is very good for mango and coffee cultivation in south india it has one more name that is cherry blossom in karnataka it is called cherry blossom our next two seasons are rainy season and retreating monsoon season out of these two i will start number four first retreating monsoon the duration of this season that is october to november we cannot see much changes during this period so this period we can explain with the help of this term october heat during this time rainfall is very low and temperature is moderate but what is the meaning of october heat then october heat means this time sky is completely clear and moisture is very high which creates oppressive type of climate means it is uncomfortable for us that's why this period this season is called october season and yes i said about the rainfall less rainfall occurs during this time due to southwest monsoon but it is very negligible amount okay now our third one rainy season we can say it is our last one out of this four time period june to september which is the most important season for our country because our country's economy completely depends on this season during this season rain occurs huge amount of rain occurs and due to this wind what's the name monsoon wind this wind has two branches one is southwest another northeast and these branches we are definitely getting according to the direction of the winds southwest monsoon blows from arabian sea towards our mainland and northeast one blows from northeast part of our country first and when it travels over bay of bengal it picks some moisture and brings rain so here for this rainy season our southwest branch is very important actually northeast monsoon brings less amount rain in southern part of india during winter season so that part i will say later first southwest monsoon which is the most important this branch has two more branches according to the location one is arabian sea branch another is bay of bengal branch this southwest monsoon moves from southwest direction of india again a small way i am trying to show you this is our southwest direction and here we have arabian sea it blows from arabian sea and brings heavy rain in the western part of western ghat but after crossing this mountain it is completely dry wind converted into dry wind and doesn't bring any rain but after crossing the whole country when it goes over this bay of bengal see it again picks up moisture and brings heavy rain in the northeast part of india that's why it has two branches arabian sea and bay of bengal branch and temperature very moderate during this time especially the parts which receive the, uh, parts of india which receive the rain but during this period we can see one situation that is called break or burst of burst of monsoon means during this period sudden approach of monsoon we can see during this time monsoon wind then wind comes with full speed and there is a thunder and lightning created and it also brings rain that situation is called break or burst of monsoon now the last part of this chapter that is characteristics of the monsoon winds there are many characteristics few i have mentioned here and i am going to explain that one first orographic in nature this wind which brings rain it is orographic in nature you know student because class 9 you learned the meaning of orography it means relief 
दिस रेनफॉल डेवलप ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ माउंटेन स्पेशली वेस्टर्न घाट आई मेन्शन दैट वन दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड ओरोग्राफिक इन नेचर सेकेंड वन इज टॉरेंशियल रेनफॉल येस ह्यूज रेन इट ब्रिंग्स सो नेचर वाइज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वाइज वी कैन से इट इज टॉरेंशियल इन नेचर नाउ अनसर्टेन रेनफॉल येस रेनी सीजन आई मेन्शन दैट सीजन वेरिएशन और एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम मंथ ऑफ जून टू सेप्टेम्बर स्टिल इट इज अनसर्टेन बिकॉज इट मे कम बिफोर जून और इन बिटवीन एनी टाइम्स ऑफ दिस फोर मंथ last one number fourth one uneven distribution whole country our whole india doesn't get same amount of rain from this wind so it is uneven distributed and the last one is erratic rainfall yes erratic means amount of rainfall maximum parts of india gets rain but the amount is not same some parts gets huge rain some parts gets moderate some parts get very less rainfall That's why these five are very important characteristics of this wind, monsoon wind. And the last part is distribution of rainfall. Just now I said these rain are evenly distributed. That's why, on the basis of this concept, in India we are getting four different areas on the basis of the amount of rainfall. Each part doesn't get same amount of rain. Just now I said some areas get very heavy rain. Heavy rain means we can say that is more than 200 cm next second one areas which gets moderately heavy rainfall that varies from 100 to 200 cm third one areas of moderate rainfall means here rainfall varies from 50 to 100 cm and the last one that one is the scanty rainfall these areas get very less means less than 50 cm rainfall now which areas that is the part of homework when i will give the homework i will give this question you have to find out the distribution of rainfall in india amount i mentioned but the location you have to find out now after completion the discussion part i am going to give you some homework first i have given differences distinguish the following two points you try to write and one is summer monsoon and winter monsoon or you can say southwest or northeast monsoon same thing and the second question retreating and northeast monsoon here you have to write two two points for each difference but here i want to say one thing student answers given in the book so when you will write question number b you please follow point 1 and point 3 because we know difference means we have to write the same point in both side in case of this question we are getting only point 1 and point 3 where we are getting exact differences 2 and 4 not applicable okay now the question number 2 third is a desert why you have to give reason this one i didn't discuss this part particularly we know third is a desert desert of our country but our country is a huge rain in this world still desert form here why i didn't discuss i want to see the answer from your side because season i discuss season of india i said so you please try to write this answer first and the next one distribution of rainfall just now i explain on the basis of amount of rainfall we are getting this four regions amount i mention here but regions i didn't mention this is your part to find out at least two locations for each division like areas of heavy rainfall in india which areas get heavy rain at least two examples like this we try to write this answer so this table you can see you just fill up this one and the last part define the following terms here i have given some terms a to z you try to find out the answer of each term in the terms once again a jet stream number b western disturbances c kal boishakhi d lu e mango showers f october heat and g break of monsoon 
so now i can say the chapter has completed you please try to find out the answers of all questions which one i have given you and if is it any problem if is there any problem you please mark that one after reopening our school i will explain once again and once again i want to say stay at home don't go outside